Hello guys, <laughs> it is Wednesday here on 7 Furry Friends, and this week's theme is, um, so we're just practically talking about our favorite pet products, our top 10, so I just have obviously 10 here, and I'm just going to tell you guys about them. Um, so this is like the fifth time I've redone this video because my phone keeps running out of storage and then I have to do stuff and then, yeah. But practically, the <laughs> alright, so the first thing that I really like is a treat and it is the Papaya KT Fiesta Healthy Toppings. Um, and this is just the papaya one, papaya bits. Um, yeah, my animals really love these like a lot, a lot, but except for my hamster because I don't feed these to my hamster because... Uh, she is prone to diabetes, and these have loads of sugar in them. But, yeah, so this is, like, the first thing that I really like. It's one of the first treats I ever bought for my animals. Obviously, this pack isn't because I just bought this pack yesterday, and I finished the pack that I first bought. But, anyway, so, yeah, uh, this is, like, the first treat that my animal had when he came back to my house, and he really likes these. All right, so that's the first one. The second is... The Care Fresh um, Odor Control. Um, I just have mine in the pink uh, color because my favorite color is pink. And but over, I did have the white one. And don't, no matter what color you have, this is just a really nice bedding to have. Um, it is a little more expensive, but I think it's really worth it. And. Um, yeah, so this is just overall a great product, and I really love it, and my animals really love it too. Um, so, yep, that is that one. I'm just sitting on our floor. It's getting all over. Um, all right, so. See, that's from, like, the first video I shot, and I can't get it off. But anyway, so this is just a salt lick, and I have no idea what that is. That came with it when I got it. I guess it's just, like, a little discoloration or something. But, yeah. Alright, so this is just a salt lick, and it is the carrot flavored. And this was really cheap, and my animal really likes it. I've had this before in the past because my bunny bites on the bars, but I have it in my guinea pig's cage now because he's inviting on the bars. But, yeah, so you just practically unhook it like that. You pull that all the way up, but I can't do it with one finger or hand, sorry. So I'm not going to do that. But this is supposed to be... Carrot flavored, if they can even make that. Um, but yeah, so practically you just take it and you slide it through the bar of your cage and then you turn it up and it locks in with this thing. And it comes with this thing already or already on it. You have to attach it yourself, but yeah. Um, sorry. So this is just really awesome. I think an animal should always have a salt lick in their cage. Or my animals always do. You don't have to, obviously, if you don't want to, but. I like having them for my animals, so yeah, this one's just my guinea pigs. I took it out of his cage a couple minutes ago, and yeah, he really likes this. Um, and this is, it just doesn't look like eaten or licked or whatever they do to it, I'm not quite sure, um, because I just bought it yesterday, but he has been, like, he's just been on it all night long, practically. Uh, so yeah, he really likes that. Next product that I have here is this homemade treat. So it's not really a product, or this homemade toy. It's not really a product, but at the same time it is because it's like a toy. But, um, yeah, so this practically just represents any, like, homemade toy my animals really seem to enjoy. Um, especially this styled one. I always stuff a treat in there, and they go berserk for it. As soon as I it touches in Pudding's cage, he is, like throwing it, <laughs> one time he actually threw it out of his cage um, when because he, he was trying to get the treat out because he could hear it rattling in there. So yeah, this goes for any uh, like homemade treat my animals really like, so I like that one a lot. Next are these um, nail trimmers. And um, I don't do my animals' nails a whole lot myself. I usually take them to a pet shop to get done. Um... Because I'm always afraid. But I also have styptic powder, so I'm okay with that. But, yeah. Um, so these are just scissors that I got. Or, scissors. 
trimmers that I got from PetSmart. Um, these work, I think, the best on guinea pigs. They're, it's a little harder to cut bunnies' nails with them because it is pretty small, like the actual thing. Or it's pretty small, but the animals don't seem to mind it that much. So, yeah, they just really like those. Or I really like them. I'm sure they don't like getting their nails trimmed, but it's really useful to me. Um, next is something that has been amazingly useful, especially because I have a uh, lion head rabbit. Um, this is just the Safari. Sorry, my camera was at a weird angle. So this is just the Safari brush, and um, I use this for brushing through pudding and Oreo's mane, hair, skirt, whatever it's called. I don't really know. <laughs> but um, yeah, they are. Um, okay, so this is really gentle on them. The reason, or the way that you can tell if you have a good brush, or if you're just wondering if you're, like, to get a brush, um, if you rub your hand or arm over it and it hurts you, it hurts you, or it's uncomfortable to you, it is uncomfortable to your animal. Um, I just have the one where it's, like, the rubbery kind of tips, and then it has, like, the, that kind of hair, not hair bristles in it. Um, as you can see, I brushed through Pudding's hair quite a lot. I just took all the hair out, but yeah. Alright, so this, I really recommend this brush. It's just, again, the Safari. I think I got this from PetSmart, and I'm pretty sure it's a cat brush. <laughs> but, you know, it works really well. I couldn't really find any rabbit brushes, which is strange, but I know. Whatever. Okay, so next product. Sorry, I keep reaching over here. Um, are these Willow Sticks. Um, here, I'll put that right there. So, my bunny especially really, really loves these. Um, they're just plain willow sticks. And I got these, like, 200 in a bag for, like, $1.50 at um, PetSmart. And, yeah, they go through them really fast, so, so. Yep, I don't, I don't, I don't think they sell them there anymore, though, because last time I went back, which is, like, two days ago, they didn't have them. And I was kind of bummed out because I wanted to get more. But, yeah, so just willow sticks in general. Um, next thing that I have, sorry, is this tube of t uh, toilet paper roll tube. So they just really like this. The hamster really does. Not so much the other animals. But so they just crawl through it and they chew on it and it's really awesome. You can find this practically just laying around your house too, which is great. <laughs> but, um, yep, so it's just a little tube. Next one, which is probably my favorite out of all of them, and it has pink stuffing on, or pink bedding on it, sorry, but it's just this, uh, cat bed with a rubber bottom on it, oh, like, has, like, little, you can't see that, but, like, the rubber stickies on it, you can see it there, like, you know how when you were a baby, you had, like, the socks, the rubber stickies, so that you wouldn't fall when you're, like, walking, or whatever, I'm not sure what they used them for, but, yeah, that sounds right, um, but they just have this on the bottom, so you can put it in, like, a room like a hardwood room or anything but Percy absolutely goes crazy for this every time he sees it out he just straight runs on top of it it's really like plush and it's really soft but again this is a cat bed so and I didn't buy this myself my neighbor bought it for me or she was done or like her animals never used it her cats never used it so she just gave it to me and then you could take this pillow out maybe yeah yeah you can um, and then you can just, like, switch the colors or whatever you want. And then, um, he also just likes going in this sometimes, and it has hay in it. But this goes for, like, a little deeper thing in case you just want to, like, leave your animal in it for a minute while you try and clean his cage or something. But, yep. Yeah. Alright, so you can put the pillow back on top, too, and it's just perfect. So the last thing that I have whoa, is just this piglu. Okay, so, um... This is another one of my top, top, top favorites because it just makes my guinea pig feel really secure, especially the guinea pig that I have because, again, it is, like, traumatized or something. I'm not sure. I was I didn't have him for about, or someone else owned him three years previously before I did, so he's a little shaken up because he didn't get played with a lot. But, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to let you guys do something really special. I'm going to let you go inside of his pig loot. Ready? Boop, boop, boop. How does it feel like to be a guinea pig? Is it awesome? I can't see because my hand's in a pig loo with my phone. But yeah, so you're just seeing around my TV room. 
Is it awesome or what? Um, okay, sorry. Okay, so I don't recommend a clear one like I have or like transparent, but this is the one that I that he came with and I didn't really change it after. Hey, look, another whatever that is called, giraffe print. Did I say, I'm pretty sure I said zebra before when I was talking about the bed, so I'm sorry if I did. You guys probably got really annoyed then, but I just feel like I did. Okay, so I recommend like a solid colored, or like a solid, yeah, colored one, not like a transparent colored one because your guinea pig will feel a lot more secure in a solid colored one. I've been meaning to get a new one. I just totally forgot about it yesterday, but yeah. Um, I just really love Piglu, especially during the cold because uh, the heat is kind of trapped in there, which is awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys really liked this week's theme video. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my main channel, which is the Bunny Care 101. I'll see you guys later. Bye!